What's up guys? <laughs> so I'm here making this video that's long overdue. I know I've been slacking, <clears throat> but you know, life, shit happens. But I basically have had the M2 back for almost three months now. And I put almost 3,000 miles on the car, as you see it, with the carbon fenders, carbon hood, and a carbon fiber trunk. I've put about 12,000 miles on it since installing the Kratos turbos, and they've been holding up flawlessly. No issues, no complaints. The car makes power, and it's <laughs> it's a rocket. Like, I can't explain. It sounds batshit crazy. The turbo spool is it's just mind-blowing. I'm going to do my best to remember all the parts that I have on the car. It's a lot. But, <laughs> yeah, just bear with me if I skip over something that you guys see. But, car has 763Ms in frozen gold. Basically the same wheels that are on the M2 CS. They are the CS wheels. <laughs> Alpha N carbon vented fenders. They're dry carbon fenders. They weigh nothing. And then these side markers are actually from IND. They're IND painted and came out fucking amazing like their paint match is unrivaled for any company that i've seen so moving on to the front end rw carbon uh kidney grills <laughs> and then this front lip is from auto technic rw carbon cs style hood i have the same hood on my f80 m3 and it's painted it's not wrapped i actually have this vent in carbon fiber at home i just have to install it so i actually have r triple eights on the rear still stock tire sizes but uh probably gonna go a little bit bigger size up I'm gonna have to raise it when I do that. But yeah, the car has a full active auto work exhaust. It's um, their Catless downpipes, equal length resonated mid pipe, and their rear muffler. I actually had a different setup on the car before, but a uh, Corvette tried to eat me, and um, that's basically why I had to install the carbon, because you kind of mess up the rear. And you can still kind of see it a little bit. But yeah, the car is back in my hands. Better than it was before. <laughs> no complaints whatsoever. It looks amazing. I literally got two compliments on the way over here. The carbon trunk is actually OEM. It's from BMW. It's an M Performance carbon trunk. That's in the trunk. Like, <laughs> and this is the best part, hold up. It says M Performance in the carbon it's imprinted into it like <laughs> it's so crazy this trunk is actually expensive not cheap by any means but i actually managed to get it half price don't ask me how i'm still tripping about how i even got it half price the taillights are the gts taillights i've had them for about a year now I'm 99% sure I was the first person in North America to have the smoked ones on an M2. I know they had them in Europe and China first because they are made in China, but I love them. I know a few people hate on them, but I think they're sick. The diffuser, the diffuser is made by a company that does not exist anymore. I don't even want to mention them because they're still kind of lurking around on Instagram, but they're like inactive as fuck mad people just complain about not receiving orders from them and people are still placing orders on their website i kind of don't want to say who it is or even talk about it any more than that but yeah just be careful who you buy parts from that's all i'm gonna say i 
my bad the engine bay is a little dusty. But yeah, I'm just giving you guys a little peek at it. Kratos right there. <laughs> this bit turbo inlet pipe. But yeah, basically it has BRSF charge pipes. They came with the car. I bought the car used with 20,000 miles on it about three years ago. The car has 70 now. <laughs> but it came with uh, charge pipes, BRSF down pipes, now replaced with the active. And a um, few little things. Like the whole car had PPF on it. But yeah, I have to redo the PPF because of the carbon now. But essentially, I did almost everything you can do to an S55 stock block. I have an upgraded intake manifold for port injection. That's the secondary fuel rail right there. <laughs> I had it paint matched to the uh, top mount and to the intakes. Yeah, I powder coated them so it didn't come out completely matching. The shade off, but I think it still looks good. I have a bunch of cooling mods, CSF DCT trans cooler, um, Mishimoto oil cooler, basically everything that you could do to it, minus the actual radiator that's in the back, like CSF heat exchanger. Um, what else? Oh, these bolts are actually from Downstar. I love them. I think it's a good little addition to the car. Have the carbon brace. Need to switch it out. I actually have a bunch of parts in my house just lying around for the, all my cars. For the M2, the F80, the E36, the E38, the E30, the M4, and the M6. I know I'm missing one there. Definitely missing a car or something. Yeah, and I have motorcycle parts lying around, but yeah, I have so many parts still left to install in all these cars. I'm still not done. I'm basically 80% there. I actually have color shifting headlight modules that I have to fucking install. Oh man. I'm just thinking about all the other parts that I have still sitting around. <laughs> oh. All right, so I'm gonna close up the hood show you guys the interior give it some revs and get out of here because it's getting kind of late even for a night crawler like me <laughs> also I don't know how much weight I shaved off the car <laughs> I really can't tell you to be honest I didn't weigh it before but I'm planning on weighing it out seeing how much it is now well <clears throat> in a little bit when I finish off the interior because I still have some more stuff to do to the car I'm not gonna mention what but you'll see. So I didn't go the standard route that most people have in their M cars. <laughs> I went with a dry carbon outer trim and a gloss carbon inner trim. The inner trim is from RW Carbon and then that's obviously OEM. Red buttons, comes factory with the red start stop. This is the AK data display. This is their V1. They're releasing a V2 um, for the F80s and F87s. It's actually pretty sick. This is all I'm gonna say about power. I'm not gonna mention any power figures, but this is all I'm gonna say. And uh, that's top speed. Just remember, the car has 180 on the dash. Yeah, that was on a closed airport strip in Mexico. Yeah, took the car cross country. <laughs> but yeah, the gauge has a lot of different data. You can customize some of the pages too. It's touchscreen. It's badass. Like this thing is probably the best boost gauge I've seen on any car aftermarket at least yeah and then you can toggle through the pages look at that it gives you a diagram that you could set up you get to pick all the values like 
Got my IAT boost power and torque there. Yeah, this thing is sick. You could actually clear error codes also. It's one of the best things about this. It could also <laughs> give you your zero to 60, your quarter mile, all that stuff. Yeah. No error codes, because I'm a good boy. I take care of my Beamer. <laughs> so dry carbon center trim. This is OEM. This is OEM. This is OEM. Like, I can't believe that they make these and just don't include it in the car. Like, it's always a fucking option. Like, damn. It would have been so better if the car would have just came with it. <laughs> but, yeah, I think it just looks amazing. This vent, I can't pronounce the company name that makes it. But they actually make the door switch trim also. Give it some light so you can see. So there's a lot of dry carbon in here. And only one little piece of gloss carbon. <laughs> no, I love this car. Oh, man. I've owned my F80 for six years. And I've owned this one for almost three and let me tell you, I've driven countless cars, like luxurious cars, you know, McLarens, whatever, GTRs, and this car stands out above all of them. There's a reason for that. Even before I did the turbos, I might be a BMW fanboy, but I do want to own other cars from other manufacturers. I had... <laughs> two Camaros before I went BMWs and uh, I was a Chevy boy like I love American Muscle still do still want to get a vet still want a Z01 <laughs> I'm gonna have a huge car collection multiple brands but this car will always stand out above them all the memories I've made with this car and just the experience this car like gives you is <laughs> It's just unexplainable. You have to own one and drive one to experience it. Really. All right, I'm gonna let you guys hear this thing. I'm gonna have to get the fuck out of here as soon as I finish revving it. It's so loud. out of there I just want to thank you guys for watching if you enjoyed the video like comment and subscribe and I'll see you next time have a good one